We in business. What's up, YouTube? Evan here for Grips.com. I just wanted to pop in to make a quick video for you guys. As you know, I'm down in the uh, the Bahamas. I'm on Paradise Island in Nassau. Just finished up with the PCA. I've been down here for three days, going on four now, and I have played a grand total of zero, zero poker hands. Uh, and I'd like to take this video, this opportunity, to talk a little, about, a little bit about the importance of peak experiences in life. Because I am definitely coming off a peak experience despite not having played a single hand. Quick, quick, twip, quick trip recap. I came down to the PCA to sweat my friends, to watch them while they were doing their thing. Uh, when I arrived the first day, Tony was on day three of the PCA with a nice half a million chip stack, and the high roller was just getting started. Charlie, Ben, Greggy were all playing that. Um, also, uh, one of the housemates from the summer had already won a tournament, Taylor Von Kriegenberg, uh, second place in the LAPT main. So we started out pretty hot. Uh, Scott Ball, another one of the housemates, made his first final table after only being on the circuit for one year. Pretty impressive. And then uh, things just went up and up and up from there. Um, every day I was thinking about maybe I'll play or maybe I'll sweat. Uh, the decision was very clear as Tony made it deeper and deeper into the main event and I just wanted to sweat that. Uh, on the side, uh, Greg Merson made a really big run, really deep run in the high roller, getting 13th. Ben Heath made his first high roller final table, finishing eighth, which was incredibly cool, especially since he was nice enough to give away 1% to the Gripsters. Uh, info coming via email. Got a home game on uh, Sunday, giving away some action there. Uh, Charlie, not the same luck in the main or in the high roller, uh, despite making a ridiculous, ridiculous uh, two street hero call with ace high for starting stacks and having to get two of it twice to get eliminated from the tournament. Uh, he still managed to make a save in a 5k turbo collecting like 40k. Uh, and Tony, for Tony, well, he's what really kept us peaking the whole way through. Um, Tony made it to the final table with very nice chips. Going to the final day six-handed, he had about five million. And he brought everyone down to share the experience. He had so much faith it was gonna be an incredible run, which it was, that he wanted to share the experience with more people, so he flew his mom down. He flew his dad down, he flew his aunt down. He flew like three of his friends down, and everyone just wanted to be here. A lot of people on the rail, they had a piece. That's why they were sweating. Me, I had no peace. I just wanted to see my friends succeed. And I think a lot of other people felt that too. You, you see a lot of people show up to the end because they wanna be there around greatness. They want to be there when the final card is dealt, when that peak experience happens. People want to experience it together. They want to feel it. It's the same reason we watch sports. It's the same reason we watch plays and movies and why we love the championships and the Olympics because it's those peak experiences. It's seeing people performing at their peak. It's seeing people who have put in tons of work to have one wild experience, to be there when it all comes together, to just, to just feel a little bit about what that's like. And uh, I think it's a very important thing in life to be present for peak experiences and to make an effort to have peak experiences. A um, few reasons about that. First reason why it's important to have peak experiences is they keep us excited for life. They keep us excited for what's going to be next. They get us looking forward to more. And they make us realize just how good it is possible to feel when we're just doing something incredible or something unique or something new. Uh, there's so many different things that, that can be peak experiences. Another reason peak experiences are important is because they, um, they motivate us to experience more of them and continue to ride the highs that life has to offer. Uh, peak experiences are also very important because they, re they make us realize that it doesn't all, always have to be low points, um, but it helps us appreciate those low points as well. Because when we're at the highest of highs, we know that we can't stay there forever. 
having been in you know, the mediums and the lows, so it helps us to savor the moment more and appreciate it more. Really, really cool stuff. And I just, I wanted to make this video ASAP because I didn't want to lose the experience or the feeling and not get to share it with you guys. So I'm about to do two weeks of just body work, meditation, yoga, spirituality, training and teaching, and it's gonna be incredible. Uh, but it's gonna be a little different from the poker parties that were going on over there. And I think the, the biggest thing that made the experience so fun was the people. It always is the people. My favorite part about this trip, being around my friends and just laughing. Laughing is the best medicine for anything. You wanna, you wanna move? Get some, some medicine, I talked to Poker News about that, but sometimes you gotta move the insides, you gotta move the vocal cords. Talking helps, singing helps, and just getting a good all <laughs> laughing is, is just the incredible, most best medicine. Um, I think I'm running low on battery, so I'm gonna be quick with this one. I just wanna say thank you to all my amazing friends. Uh, Greg Merson, Tony Gregg, Christian Harder, Ben Heath, Charlie Carroll, Scott Ball, and all the other homies who were here. Uh, it's been an incredible time. Thank you so much. I know I couldn't have this experience if it weren't for you guys uh, getting to just, just be there front row center. Watching it was the best. I mean, I was a freaking command in the Poker Stars chat. Exclamation mark shirt was me because I was rocking my peaking tee at the final table. And also big thank you to uh, Jason Somerville for doing some amazing stuff on the live stream and really bringing excitement and fire and energy back to poker again. A um, few tips if you guys want to have more peak experiences in your life. Um, definitely envision what like you would like to have happen. Think of what the dream experience would be, what the ultimate peak in your life could be. Figure out what steps it would take to get there and start working on those steps and moving yourself towards the path while always just being present for the moment because every moment can be a peak. You don't need to win the Super Bowl to be peaking. You can have an amazing workout. You can have an amazing practice session. You can have amazing reflections and revelations and that right there can be peaking experiences. So, um, yeah, plan it, be present for it, and then, then just take what, com take what comes with it and uh, experience it. Don't try to control it too much. Don't be like, don't compare, because comparison is the thief of happiness. It is the thief of peaking and um, don't be like oh it's not the way I envisioned it it's this different way trust me that it is perfect just the way it is and everything is the way it is supposed to be and when you have that attitude and you take the time to reflect on the experience kind of like what I'm doing right now and be grateful and thankful for what has happened you will have more peaks in your life less valleys and even when you're in the valleys you will appreciate them for what they are a chance to recharge regain perspective and uh, plan for the next peak because we're always we're always riding the waves we're always riding the waves and uh, the tops the bottoms they're all beautiful places to be much like the Bahamas here so this has been evan thank you so much for watching please let me know what you think about peaking the importance of peak experiences maybe what your most recent peak experience was what went into it and uh, anything else at all let me know always happy to hear you guys thoughts and uh, until next time uh, peace, patience, progress. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. 2016. Living the dream. Maybe one day, we'll just buy this place. Why not? Congratulations, Tony, on your second place finish for about $600,000. Played an amazing game of poker both on and off the tables. So inspired by your performance. Hope that I can do the same this summer. The World Series of Poker, main event. Let's get stacking. Thank you.